Hello friends, I'm Vikram from EasyOn Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring Framework. In my previous video session, I discussed about the requirement, project flow, I discussed about the database, I discussed about the uh, project configuration uh, through the uh, annotation based strategy. And uh, in today's video session, I'm going to talk about how to configure data source and how to test it properly so let's begin so I have uh, database running and this is my project and uh, I'm going to configure the bean here which is a data source bean so here uh, you can see all my configuration related classes and uh, before going to data source configuration uh, let me talk about the reference so this is the reference manual this is the official reference manual of the spring framework and you can check this dao support and this is your this is important 19th chapter is data access with jdbc and uh, here i'm looking for the data source configuration so you can scroll down here and this is controlling database connections okay and this is the data source this will help me and you can read out uh, the things available here and uh, there are different kind of data source configuration you will see here so one is uh, your driver manager data source very basic and this is not required for me and uh, another is a Apache common DBCP this is what I'm going to use here right so I'm going to use here Apache database connection pool configuration and this is the bean you can use if you are using xml based configuration you can copy paste this bean in your project uh, configuration files but here i'm going to use annotation strategy so i will uh, do a little different trick here so no problem you can go with the apache connection pool you can go with the c3p0 this is another good connection pool being used in by the hibernate so hibernate has inbuilt support for this uh, c3p0 connection pool but i'm stick to the dbcp right so let's go to the configuration so here you can see one root configuration file and the spring web configuration file so this is spring web configuration file is about your web related beans here you will see view resolver resources and uh, other resolvers like uh, your theme resolver uh, and uh, multi-part resolvers so these are the kind of beans you will see in the web layer controllers are there but i'm going to configure a data database layer here so this is the spring root configuration i'm going to use look at the note here i have added here A note here and this is the services DAOs data sources email sender kind of beans we have to register here so let's begin from the data source so very first thing is I'm going to create a method here this is public and I required here data source so I'm going to use here basic data source it's a basic data source and this is the basic data source imported here look at this I'm using here dbcp2 I'm using latest database connection pool and this is available here because I have configured this pom.xml file and you can see here dependencies for the light right this is what I'm uh, going to talk about so this is available here this is org apache commons and this is common dbcp2 i'm using here and one more thing we required this is your driver so jdbc driver is there connection pool library is there okay now this is ready and let me call this method data source so this is the method i'm going to use here get data source and uh, here we have to use bean so we are creating a bean configuring a bean through the annotation strategy and here i can create basic data source bean object so this is your data source bean object so new basic data source 
right and here you have to set details for the uh, connection which is data source dot set driver class it's a driver class you have to set the driver class name I'm going to use here com dot this is mysql dot jdbc dot driver so you can get these details from the reference manual so this is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver okay now this is the driver class name now set the url of the database so url is jdbc colon mysql colon localhost colon 3306 is a default port and uh, what is the database I'm using here just a minute go to the workbench and my database is probably this is contact application DB this is what I think just a moment I will confirm this just wait for the workbench okay this is my connection just a moment okay this is my database contact application underscore DB is my database and this is right okay so this is the URL we have got this and data source dot set username is a my username is root and data source dot set password so password is mysql so these are the minimum things you have to set one mistake I'm doing here and that is I hard-coded the connection details here actually this is not a right strategy for the uh, production projects so ideally these configuration these properties these configuration details will be taken from the property file or some XML file so ideally you should externalize the configuration through the properties file or uh, XML file and they can be loaded here so that would be the right strategy but for simplicity I don't want to complicate the configuration and I have added here I have hard-coded here connection related properties okay so these are the minimum properties we have to use and now return the data source objects if you look at the reference manual I have added here four properties you can check these four properties from here so this is basic data source configured here driver class URL username and password so these are the properties uh, it is supplying here through the XML and I have been doing the same job from the Java code so it works fine no problem now I'm going to add some more properties here so you can set the set size of the max total for example I'm going to use two connections initially and when the project is coming to the production you can adjust the size as per the load in your project so now data source dot set is there any initial size so I will have initially one connection and the max connection limit will be two initially it will be one and it can extend to two and this is data source dot one few more properties we can add here set uh, this is uh, test on borrow yes I'm going to do this so when connection is borrowed from the connection pool the connection will be tested and the connection testing will be done through a query set validation query and this validation query will be select one the easiest query so this query will be used to test the connection if the connection is valid and can be used properly that will be written by the connection pool so these are the uh, things we have to configure in the project right there are some more properties you can set like uh, set auto commit so is there any support for auto commit set default query timeout and default auto commit this will be true by default the query will be committed so these are the settings we are going to use here now it's configured and let me show you how to test this this data source is ready now it's time to test it 
so to test the data source I'm going to use this test package look at this and here I'm going to create main class and this is my test data source and uh, test data source and this is the package I'm going to create here in dot easy on dot contact application dot test so here I'm going to create a class and uh, just a moment you can uh, load this configuration file so I'm going to use annotation based configuration and this file you can independently load here so look at this so this is my application context object so you can test your database configuration out of the MVC framework so without I'm not loading MVC framework inside the Tomcat container but I can test without uh, Tomcat server so this is an independent testing so this is my context layer and I'm going to use here annotation annotation what is the class name annotation configuration application context right this can work and uh, I'm going to create the object just a moment so this is ready and you can tell your class name so my class is uh, this is my spring root config this is fine and this is what the class I'm going to load here so this is the class where we have configured our bean recently and now get the bean from the connection uh, connection pool so get the bean from the factory so this is my data source I'm going to use here it's a data source and this is data source object I'm going to access and factory will provide me this object get bean of type data source so you can observe important thing when I created this bean it is basic data source but I'm using here data source actually there is one relation here so this is your data source is a parent class parent interface data source and basic data source is a implementation class this is implementation class and this is the interface so this interface belongs to Java X dot SQL and this is from the Apache API so this is part of the Apache library so this is the relation between this so I can use this this is all fine now data source dot you can you can create here JDBC template to test this JDBC template object I can create using data source this is a simple testing and pass the data source object here right so now you have got the JDBC template object and this will help you to test the uh, to execute the queries in your database server so now what we can test here so what what is the testing can be done here do you have do you have any record here I think we do not have any record here because we have created a database only I'm going to insert one record here from the query so let me write here this is JDBC SQL query I'm going to write here insert into this is my user table insert into user what are the columns we are going to set here so use inside the user table these many columns will insert this is I'm going to insert some value copy the columns here short name I'm going to copy okay so these are the columns we have copied user ID is not required because user ID will be auto generated so name name phone email address login and uh, in fact these two will be by default generated so I'm not going to add this and this is values and put the question mark here for these columns one two three four five six 
okay so put here so we have got these right it's all set now we have to pass these values inside the this is arguments this is let me call this parameter for the query and add all the values here so name will be let's say the name is Vikram and phone number is this is correct after that email address so this is email address Vikram at easyon.net and then address address is let's say this is the address and then login name password so login name is let's say login name is V and the password is V123 ideally the, your passwords must be encrypted but I'm going to keep the open password here plain text because it is my simple application now execute using JDBC template dot update so you can use this so query is given and let me correct this okay fine everything is done now when everything is done a message will be printed here SQL executed fine now just do the clean build sometime it is not taking our updates so don't worry just clean and build the project and once it is done just run it okay all set just a minute taking some time still working fifty percent build just a moment you can check the status here okay all set and you have got here build successful now run this so what is the error we can see here just a moment I'm getting some error bean creation exception and request mapping request mapping handler mapping defined in class path I'm not using actually that layer just a moment just a moment let me let me check the error absent code attribute in method is not native servlet exception I'm going to loo I'm loading this whole stuff out of the MVC layer so is there any code related to MVC we have not added anything here related to MVC layer so it is just a simple bean just a moment for testing purpose I'm going to do one small change here probably it is loading some controller so I just want to comment for now just a moment I have nothing to scan here I have nothing to scan here so just comment for now I will solve the problem for testing I'm going to get the connection pool from the factory and check the work okay it is done look at this SQL executed successfully okay fine and now can you see that data here okay look at this this is the data inserted in database right so this is the record we have entered from the application now let me tell you why it is creating a problem just a moment so actually this is the package scanning we have specified and when you go to this package it is trying to load here this controller because this controller belongs to this package in dot easy on is a base package and it is scanning all the internal packages and this is not at loaded 
because we are not uh, running the application through the MVC layer we are just loading the uh, service layer and testing out of the MVC layer so for now it is working fine and we'll find out some permanent solution for this so just comment it now in coming video series we'll do it properly so thank you very much for now and if you have any query regarding this work you can ask your query in comments and uh, if you want more updates from my channel if you like my work must subscribe thank you very much for watching and see you in next video thanks a lot